Hi, welcome to DIY for Homeowners by Mother Daughter Projects. I'm Vicki, the mom of Mother Daughter Projects, and I'm here with an extreme home maintenance project. It's an extreme method of cleaning a very sticky furniture top. Now, a little backstory on this piece of furniture. This is a, a piece from 1967. I got it actually from Craigslist, and it was in the home of a smoker. And I don't normally buy furniture that's been in a smoke-filled environment because it's, it's hard to clean, and a lot of times it's smelly. Well, this piece came with a table, and I actually wanted the table, and I really didn't want this, but he made me an offer that was too good to refuse, so I brought it home. But the finish on the top has continued to be sticky, and I have tried so many different things to clean it, including mineral spirits. Nothing has worked. And it finally came to a head after I was putting away my Christmas decorations, and I had used some fiber fill on the top of this as decoration, and it stuck. And I thought, I have got to do something with the top of this table. So I did a little research to see what I could do. And I do consider what I'm going to show you a very extreme method of cleaning the top of a piece of furniture. I tested a corner of it. It came clean. I did some more. I cleaned all that up. I put a little um, cleaner on the top of it and it's beautiful. I couldn't believe how good it looks. So I thought, you know, if it worked for me, maybe if you have a piece of furniture that is in poor condition and the only thing you can do with it now at this point is to strip it. This might be an alternative to stripping it. So let's get started and I'll show you how I did that. I'm gonna be using acetone. That's the same thing as fingernail polish. Uh, I'm going to use uh, a glass container, a brush, this is just to open the can. I'm gonna clean with a little bit of Dawn and water and this clean, this Murphy's oil soap. And you really need a very good high quality paper towel. And these are actually shop towels, but just get you a really good quality. And you need to wear a mask. You need to work in a well ventilated area because um, this is very smelly. It's very, you know how smelly, if you know how your mover is, that is probably double that. And crack a window and use a fan if you can. And I'm just gonna pull a few paper towels here. And I'm gonna fold them. You could also wear gloves with this, but I haven't found it to be that big a deal. And you do, before you try this method, you really need to test it on a space that you're in inconspicuous space. And ideally, you would do that on the back leg of a piece of furniture, and that wouldn't be seen, but I couldn't do that, so I just did it on the top and went for broke. Okay, open up your can of acetone. That's what that screwdriver's for. And I'm using this puppy pad to protect uh, what I've finished and so I don't get this all over. Whew. And pour that on in. And I'm using just a little paintbrush. And you really need to work fairly quickly because once the um, goo, whatever is on there is, is uh, liquidated, is that right, liquidated? <laughs> is softened. You need to get it cleaned up right away. Otherwise, it gets gummy again and you have to do it again. So just put a little bit on there and I'll just, let me just do it right here so you can see that. And you can see it immediately is taking that up. See how it's getting black? And let me just show you how much gunk is on here. Okay, just wipe it and look. That's what's all over the top of this piece of furniture. So let me just do a little bit more. And I'm really just going through this um, quickly, and then I'm gonna go back and any places I missed, I will go back and put a little bit more of this on. And just wipe it down. And I'm wiping the grain, I don't know if that matters, but, and you see how you're getting all that stuff in the acetone. I did try putting it on just a paper towel and wipe it on and found that brush method works way better. Put a little Dawn dishwashing liquid. I'm actually just gonna clean this up a little bit. And see what's left on this. You can't see too much, that's good. And then a little bit um, just damp cloth to thoroughly, again, clean it some more. Murphy's oil soap. Just spray that on there and kind of buff it up. And again, still more dirt. I notice on where I've done that before, it's gotten a little dull, so I may come back here and do a little bit of Danish oil and see if that will keep the shine.
Anyway, I can't believe how good this looks. I can't believe I waited so long to try something as extreme as this. But it's really basically, this is just a really dirty, dirty finish and it just needed to be totally cleaned off. So um, it was a scary method and it's not for everyone. But if this had not worked, I would have stripped the top anyway. So I didn't feel like I had anything to lose. So uh, you have a piece of furniture that maybe came out of poor conditions. Uh, this may be something you might want to try. So thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.